all everyone and a very warm welcome. This is question one in 30 day study questions J advanced series. So let us move on to the question without wasting any time. Question hamare paas hai. The function f of x is root over some quadratic. Okay, it is root over quadratic for x belonging to r plus. Uh, g of x to hai, that is root over x square plus 20x plus 100. Again, x belongs to real. And h of x also they have defined as fx minus twice of gx. Then, the first part of the question says that find range of h of x. Find range of h of x. Take a h of x ka range nikalna hai. That is the first part. What about the second part? The second part says that find number of solutions. Take a find number of solutions of following equation. Find the number of solutions of following equation. A part hai h of x equals to 1 by 2. B part is h of x is equals to 1 by 8. C part is h of x is equals to 2 by 3. Take care. So here is the question that now we need to solve. The two parts of the question also they have given us. So basically the different parts of the question are for the function h of x. So my first step is identifying the function h of x. Take care. h of x ko find karne mein aage badhenge. So start karte What is h of x? How they have defined it? So h of x ko na they are defining it as f of x minus 2g of x. Correct? Yani h of uh, x ko we can write. First of all f of x likha. So ye hai f of x. Or uh, minus 2g of x likha. So, here raha function h of x, which I am going to write after rationalization because this is the field I am getting after looking at two square roots ka difference over here. So, I have rationalized kiya. Rationalize kiya to dekho denominator aega root over 4x square plus 81x plus 400 and plus 2 root over x square plus 20x plus 100. What about the numerator? 4x square got cancelled. 81x and 80x will get cancelled. So, 8x will And with that, all the constant terms got cancelled. So, here is the function h of x that we have. Okay, now what do you say about this function? The function h of x we have so can we say that h of x is going to be increasing function? How can you identify it? You can easily identify it by differentiating this expression. Okay, and you can also identify it like this. Let me show you an easier way. What can you do? This whole expression, just look at the denominator, this expression. Take na, isme bhi aap numerator se x ko denominator mein shift kar do. We can write it as 1 divided by root over this 1 by x will go inside as x square. So, 4 plus 81 upon x plus 400 upon x square. Plus, abhi se likho ge aap 2 root over 1 plus 20 upon x plus 100 upon x square, right? You don't go for the derivative of h of x. Just observe this expression and see when I differentiate only the denominator, only denominator I'm talking about, if I differentiate only the denominator, will I not be getting the derivative as negative? Square roots hai, so 1 by 2 root aega. But because of these terms, we will be getting the negative sign in front, right? So both these terms will give me negative sign. So, only denominator, as long as you are talking about only the denominator, can I say that denominator is going to be a decreasing function? Denominator is decreasing means what? When you are reciprocating the decreasing function, that means you are uh, writing something which is like constant upon a quantity which keeps on reducing. But constant upon quantity keeps on reducing means overall value is increasing. So, basically I am able to prove here that h of x is increasing function. It is increasing function in 0 to infinity. The function is increasing in 0 to infinity, right? 0 to infinity, why we are talking about that? Because as you can see, function f of x is defined only for x positive real. 
सो जीरो से इन्फिनिटी ही इसका भी डोमेन हो सकता है एंड इन दैट डोमेन द फंक्शन इज टर्निंग आउट टू बी इनक्रीज अब अगर फंक्शन इंक्रीजिंग आ गया है तो इसका मतलब क्या होगा कि फंक्शन इज गोइंग स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग है ना तो इट इज गोइंग टू टेक द लीस्ट वैल्यू एट जीरो एंड द मैक्सिमम विल बी एट इन्फिनिटी ठीक है सो जीरो पर वैल्यू देखते हैं व्हेन एच ऑफ एक्स की हम बात करेंगे व्हेन एच ऑफ एक्स में एक्स को यू आर कीपिंग जीरो तो यू कैन से दैट इट इज टेकिंग द मिनिमम वैल्यू जीरो व्हेन यू टेक इट टुवर्ड्स इन्फिनिटी टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वन व्हेन यू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वन when infinity you are keeping what you are getting is 1 by root 4 plus 2 that means 1 by 2 plus 2 that is 1 by 4 what about 0 is the function defined at 0 yes the function is defined at 0 is form mein likhne par aap x ko 0 nahi likhoge so it's fine ye to converted form tha to domain bhi hamare paas kya hai closed 0 hai na closed 0 hai to range ke liye bhi aap ise likhoge closed 0 to 1 by 4 open interval So what was the first part of the question? The question said that calculate the range of h of x, which we have evaluated as closed zero to one by four. ठीक है, closed zero zero हमारे पास कब आ रहा है? When we are keeping x is equals to zero. तो ठीक है, closed zero हो गया और infinity पे answer will be one by four. But because now you have the range of h of x and you also know that the function is strictly increasing, you can easily opt the answers for the second part of the question. They are saying find the number of solution of following equation. When h of x is equals to half, I'll say zero solution. Why I'll say zero solution? Because it will never become half. H of x का range ही zero से one by four है, तो you will not have any solution for this. What about h of x is equals to one by eight? So I'll say one solution. Why? Because one by eight lies in the interval zero to one by four, and further the function is strictly increasing we are getting it the fun as increasing function so more than once it is not going to intersect any horizontal line theek hai third h of x 2 by 3 again ye 1 by 4 se bada gaya so here also the number of solutions are going to be zero theek hai so this is how we are just utilizing the concepts that we have learned in the functions to handle different question well i really appreciate your engagement with the question If you found the question enjoyable, useful, then consider giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing for future content, and sharing it with your friends. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.